So there was hence a, the slashes. Hence the slashes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, there was a time when I would have said slash musician also, which I wouldn't dare say now. <laughs> that was like being a little delusional. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned theatre and yeah. I, like, this got me thinking. All the film actors, the, yeah. you know, the film actors of some repute, they talk about theatre as if it's some mandir. Yeah. Why is that? Like, yeah. like your parents, like a lot of other art, artists that we have. People who are like in film and who are the more famous people yeah. who get covered a lot, they talk about theatre as if it's some really pious yeah. activity. Why is that? Because, you know, it's almost like from a musician's point of view, it would be the difference between a CD and a live performance. Achha. Like that, right? So like uh, there's, a, there's a whole different exchange of energies which occurs in a live performance between the artist and the audience. Mm -hmm. And also uh, for the simple fact that, man, the theatre gave birth to film. So you have to bow down to your predecessors, right? Mm, yeah. You know, and there was a time when cinema was regarded as the illegitimate offspring of the theatre. You know, when cinema was invented, it was a Nickelodeon novelty. It was like something that used to be shown at car carnivals and fairs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, like, arcade or amusement park, <laughs> jate, cinema was like that. Yeah. Then it took certain uh, great filmmakers at that time, uh, from all across the world, from France and America and various people, like D.W. Griffith, one of them. So these people made cinema into an art form. Because they were also coming from a literary tradition. They wanted to imbue it mm. with the same respectability of a Dickens or a Tolstoy. Mm. You know, they wanted to have the same, they wanted to have cinema on that same, that same level in a sense. Mm. Uh, so that's why, is that it's, 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 uh, but also I would say from a more uh, practical point of view, the reason why people perhaps feel that way is because the sharpening of the craft that mm -hmm. happens in, in theatre mm -hmm. is something that can only aid your film work. And and in mm. fact, it's a fact of it's it's a true fact that a lot of the great filmmakers, uh, a lot of them do come from a thea exactly. theater tradition, yeah. and they try to create an atmosphere on the set which is as close to a play which mm. is possible. Because yeah. I'll give you I'll give you a small example. Like suppose uh, we're shooting a movie and it's two of us sitting across the table talking. Mm -hmm. Now, oftentimes in a movie, and especially if it's a commercial kind of movie with a certain kind of lighting and whatnot, a certain kind of visual tone, what will happen is, it won't be both of us sitting at the table and talking. It will be, there'll be a cutter stand here, there'll be lights here, there'll be, there'll be a thermocol call here, there'll be probably, the, the space will be bifurcated and divided. Yeah. We might have to be, I might be talking to you, but I'll have to be looking out there like that. Yeah. So there's all this kind and of... And in the age of green screen, I might not even be might here. might not even be there, exactly. My character would be some Spider-Man or some <laughs> other man and I would be just a green mask. We could be talking from like Delhi and Bombay, <laughs> yeah. we're shooting the same scene. But, uh, but, but in theatre, if we were to do the same scene, then it's actually two of us sitting here talking. In there's place, no, yeah. there's no sort of uh, levels of artifice mm -hmm. in between that. And 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 in film, the challenge becomes when there's so many layers of artifice, makeup, shake up, yeah, wo, mm -hmm. all that. How do you achieve truth? Oh. So that has always been the filmmaker and the film actor's uh, uh, pursuit mm -hmm. to to achieve truth. And especially now more than ever, because now Indian cinema is going through a wonderful. Uh, sort of phase of naturalism, mm -hmm. realism, yeah. right? Gone is the sort of uh, the, the, the sort of more fantastical elements mm -hmm. that were prevalent yeah. in Bollywood earlier. Now, the audience also wants to see real life depicted on screen. Mm -hmm. They want to see uh, something that is believable. Yeah. They want to see something that they recognize. They want to see something that they can associate with, and and that is, so, which is why in we are right now going through a very interesting phase phase of uh, realism and naturalism, especially in acting and as far as mm. filmmaking is concerned, yeah. you know, there's almost like a documentary aspect to it, where we're trying to show, yeah, yeah, and especially yeah. small town stories, that's another biggie, yes. because earlier it was always very Bombay centric, Bombay, right, it was yeah. always the, the voices that were telling the stories, the yeah. writing, the directing. Even I'm assuming, I think the way films are being made, I would assume a lot less sets are being constructed. Yes, 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 yes. Emphasis on real locations. Emphasis on real locations, yeah. absolutely. And that's a big thing. Mm. I mean, uh, that's, a, that's a huge thing. I would say that the, the realistic filmmakers would always prefer to shoot on a real location as opposed to constructing a set. And that you're saying comes from like that a comes theater, from the theater mindset. Because, absolutely, because then we're actually inhabiting the space. Uh -huh. Then it's actually two of us sitting at the table talking. Uh -huh. We're not uh, sort of faking it in any way. Mm -hmm. it's, we're actually inhabiting that scene and playing it, uh, So, which is why there's there's a level of uh, I mean although people think that theater is slightly heightened reality mm -hmm. they think that it's it's slightly over the top and that sort of thing yeah. which 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 uh, I don't necessarily agree with that it's just a different you're singing in a different key 
Okay. You're yeah. singing in a different key. You're, it's I don't think it's over the top or heightened or those kind of pejoratives. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily uh, b believe in. Yeah, that. because when you assume, like when you think of theater, it's always that. Oh, Declamatory. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, 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 that sort of orately style. But uh, but that's the thing is that in a sense. Theater has always been closer to real life than film for the simple reason that you're inhabiting the space and you're also in inhabiting that truth within a given circumscribed amount of two hours or however long the mm -hmm. place. It's not a stop, start, break, yeah, yeah, do yeah. it again, one more thing. And, and exactly, the fact that there are no retakes, it yeah. makes it so much closer to life. Exactly. It's a, if I fumble while speaking here, I can't be like, okay, cut, 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 we'll <laughs> do this again. <laughs> Correct. And, and oftentimes, there's so many times when a mistake, when the, an actor in a play makes a mistake and audience doesn't really find out but they know <laughs> the people involved in the show know